Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing the tamarin, uh, the exercises which are in the eighth lesson, Adars al Thamin. So, the first exercise, Ajib Anil As Ilatil Atiya, respond to the following questions Man hadha rajulu, woman thalika rajul. So, you have to answer the question that is in the above statements. هذا الرجل تاجر وذلك الرجل طبيب. This man is a merchant and that man is a doctor. And accordingly, you do all the rest of the answers. And uh, I would l prefer to leave these answers to you so that you can do them by yourself. Masmut Tajir, what is the trader's name? Masmut Tabib, what is the doctor's name? So you would start off by saying Ismu Tabibi and then whatever his name is. Min Aina Sayyaratu Tabib Min from Aina where Sayyaratu Tabib the doctor's car. Where from where is the doctor's car? Min Aina Sayyaratu Tajir from where is the trader's car and you would start the sentence by saying Sayyaratu Tajiri Min then wherever it's from. Aina Baytu Tajir, where is the trader's house? Aina Baytu Tabib, where is the doctor's house? Iqra Waktub, here it is reading and writing and we'll translate also. Hadal Waladu Khalidun, Wadalikal Waladu Muhammadun. This boy is Khalid and that boy is Muhammad. هذا الرجل مدرس وذلك الرجل مهندس. This man is a teacher and that man is an engineer. هذا الكتاب جديد وذلك الكتاب قديم. This book is new and that book is old. هذه السيارة لعلي وتلك لخالد. This car belongs to Ali and that one belongs to Khalid. هذا الباب مفتوح وذلك الباب مغلق. This door is open and that door is closed. لمن هذه الساعة? Whose watch is this? To whom does this watch belong? هي لعباس. It belongs to Abbas. أهذا البيت للطبيب? Does this house belong to the doctor? لا هو للمدرس. No. It belongs to the teacher. أهذه الدراجة لبن المؤذن. Does this bike, the Raja, it means bicycle. Does it belong to the son of the muaddin? Naam. Yes. So here we have لبن المؤذني. This is مضاف المضاف لي. The son of the muaddin or the muaddin's son. من هذا الولد؟ who is this boy? هو طالب من الصين. He is a student from China. أذلك البيت جديد. Is that house new? لا. هو قديم جدا. No. It is very old. جدا. Very old. هذه السيارة من اليابان وتلك من أمريكا. This car is from Japan and that from America. هذا السكين من ألمانيا. وتلك الملعقة من إنكلترا. This knife is from Germany. ألمانيا. It means Germany. And in French also, أليمان. It's uh, the name for Germany. And that spoon is from England. هذا طبيب من الهندي. So what we're supposed to do here, we're supposed to take this sentence and make a different sentence by putting min al hindi at the end of it. So, hada tabibun, it's a complete sentence by itself. But we have to change that into a sentence that fits with min al hind. The same wording, but to complete the sentence with the word min al hind. So, what we have to do is we have to put alif lam on the beginning of the noun. So, instead of hada tabibun, we would say, هذا الطبيب من الهندي. 
this doctor is from India. هذه سيارة this is a car. Now that's a complete sentence. We have to join it to this, and we have to say هذه السيارة or هذه السيارة by adding an alif lam onto the noun. So we do the same thing for all the rest of the uh, sentences. So I, what I'm going to do is basically take the examples and just make the sentence over here. So number three, ذلك الولد ابن المدرسي. That boy is the teacher's son. تلك الساعة من سويسرا. That watch is from Switzerland. هذا البيت للمهندسي. This house belongs to the engineer. هذا القلم لعباس. This pen belongs to Abbas. ذلك الرجل مؤذن. That man is a muaddin. هذه بيضة كبيرة. This is a huge egg. هذا المنديل وسق. This handkerchief is dirty. هذه الحقيبة للمدرس. This briefcase or case belongs to the teacher. The next example. اقرأ المثال الآتي ثم كون أسئلة وأجوبة مثله. Look at the following example and then make sentences similar to the example. So the question is لمن هذا الكتاب هذا الكتاب لمحمد So you do the same thing with the following nouns. لمن هذا القلم هذا القلم لعباس لمن هذا المفتاح هذا المفتاح لعلي لمن هذه السيارة؟ هذه السيارة للمدير. لمن هذه البقرة؟ هذه البقرة للفلاح. فلاح it means farmer. لمن هذه الحقيبة؟ هذه الحقيبة للمدرس. لمن هذا الكرسي؟ هذا الكرسي لعمار. لمن هذه الدجاجة؟ هذه الدجاجة لبنت الفلاح. The farmer's daughter. لمن هذه الساعة؟ هذه الساعة لابن المدير. لمن هذا البيت؟ هذا البيت للطبيب. لمن هذه الملعقة؟ هذه الملعقة للطالب. تأمل الأمثلة الآتية. Pay attention to the following examples. البيت في البيت. من البيت إلى البيت. So this is a normal noun. And in these normal nouns, whenever you put a preposition or a حرف الجر, the noun after it gets a كسرة. See all three examples. The second line and the third line and the fourth line basically all of them, they have nouns that end in a. And because of that, they don't change. Physically, they don't change. So you don't put kasra on them. So al-mustashfa, fil-mustashfa, min al-mustashfa, ila al-mustashfa. And all the rest of the examples. Amerika, the same thing. Almania, Germany, the same thing. Fi Almania, min Almania, ila Almania. So this is the point that they're trying to get across. That some nouns that end in a, you will not get a harful jar or a kasra physically put on them. اقرأ واكتب read and write. هذا الطبيب من انكلترا. This doctor is from England. ذهب حامد إلى فرنسا. Hamid went to France. Now pay attention to here. This ذهب it's a verb. Whenever you get a doer of a verb. The one who is doing the action of that particular verb. This in Arabic is known as fa'il. And that fa'il, the one doing the action, will always have a dhamma on it. So in this case, hamidun. ذهب hamidun ila Fransa. And again, we have another example of ila, followed by an a noun, Fransa. So it will not take a kasra physically. Mahmoudun Maridun 
هو الآن في المستشفى. محمود is sick. He is right now in the hospital. And again the example is في المستشفى. ذهب عبد الله من ألمانيا إلى إنكلترا. عبد الله. Now in this case you have the word عبد الله. It's actually a مضاف and مضاف إليه. And whenever you get a noun like that, then the first the mudaf will get the dhamma and that will be I mean the the whole Abdullah is the file but the abd portion of it will get the dhamma so Zahaba Abdullah min Almania ila inkaltara Abdullah went from Germany to England so again min Almania ila inkaltara both nouns they don't take kasra هذا الكتاب لعيسى وذلك الكتاب لموسى this book belongs to Isa and that book belongs to Musa. Isa, Musa. Lam is harful jar, but it didn't take a kasra. Hadha al muhandisu min America. This engineer is from America. Okay, the next exercise, it's talking about positions. Okay, and when you are talking about positions, in most cases, that position, it will take a fatha. And that, in technical terms, is known as maf'ul fi. And so here you have a saburatu amam talibi. The blackboard is in front of the students. Student wa hiya khalfa al mudarrisi, and it is behind the teacher. Khalfa, amama, khalfa. So amama means in front of, khalfa behind. Aina sayyaratu al mudarrisi. Where is the teacher's car? Hiya amam al madrasati. It is in front of the school. Aina Baytul Imami. Where is the Imam's house? Baytul Imami Khalf al Masjidi. The Imam's house is behind the masjid. So Baytul Imami, it's Mudaf and Mudaf ilay. So Imami, because it's Mudaf ilay. Khalf al Masjidi, behind the masjid. And Masjidi is also Mudaf ilay here. So it takes a kasra. Aina Jalasa Hamidun. Where did Hamid sit? Hamid is taking a dhamma because it's the fa'il, it's the doer of the action, jalasa. Where did Hamid sit? Jalasa khalfa Mahmudin. He sat behind Mahmud. Zahaba Ammarun ila al-masjidi wa jalasa amam al-mihrabi. Ammar went to the masjid and sat in front of the mihrab. We have some new nouns here, which we've already covered.